It's 9.20 as I get started in the a.m. Maurice and Beverly, we met last night. And uh, it's funny how you think of things, I think, sometimes. I kind of let it go, you know, our conversations and stuff. And, and this morning, you know, as I'm getting going again and I'm reflecting on it a little bit, and of course... I didn't mention that I had the camera going in the back corner, okay, uh, assume that when we meet I have it going, okay, I, 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 it just didn't even occur to me, and I haven't looked at it yet, but at least it captured the sounds of our conversations, and that's good, because uh, even if we weren't in the, in the frame, as I'm in the frame with you here, it got captured, <clears throat> and it'll be good to have in retrospect, uh, because i got to tell you, the more I'm thinking about it as I sit here, that my initial thought when we, when, you know, everybody was really excited, as opposed to being merely excited, you know, I was going, five, six weeks, let's do a show, you know, and that's just not realistic. I mean, the most important thing you guys can do because it's taken me a year to really settle into this thing, you know. The best thing you can do, and we all can do, and we will continue to do, is uh, let it settle in, talk about it. If you can't make every Tuesday, please believe me, I know, it's okay. Um, but as time goes by, we will find needs and reasons um, for me to come to a place you might be at. For example, um, I might be a good guest on the Saturday morning radio program is my first kind of thought off the top of my head. And now that we're all in the bank together, I'll start setting some stuff up and you'll be able to see it and do it too, as you know, uh, in terms of transactions. And we'll get caught up on what I've done so far and I haven't done anything with it now for you know about another two weeks, I think it's been. It's been nice to step away from it. You know, you, you got to be kind of done with a project at some point, and I had no idea where the project was going. I didn't have any idea walking up to the tent with the camera in my hand until the guy on the sound system said, yeah, go ahead and put it here. Did I have any idea that this was going to work out so well? And I did love the evening. I felt like I had come home, finally, to Flint, uh, I've been gone really since 1968, except for visits and things, you know. And coming back to Grand Blank isn't Flint. And Flint's in all the chaos that it's in. So I felt perfectly comfortable. I, and I want to tell you this, Maurice. Um, truth time, okay? I'm enjoying the crowd. That's not a question. The music comes on, and I'm going, okay, that's familiar, but. It's kind of like not what I listen to all the time or something, but okay. And then there were at least three times, maybe four, maybe more actually, if I reflect on it, some guitar riffs that you came up with that were from some other place, okay. <laughs> and that's when I knew I, I, I was, oh, you know, and then the whole thing falls into place. I mean, are you kidding? Oh, man. It was a really a fun night. Really a fun night. And I think it really set the stage for what's to come next. And I'm in the fortunate seat of being able to see things. And I've always been in that seat. Um, but now I'm, I see things. I can, I can project. Um, in 1990, I graduated from the uh, MSU School of Telecommunication. <clears throat> after having been on television for five years in the 80s. Uh, and in 1978, I, I got a plane ticket to, to Europe, and I spent the summer of 1978 vagabonding about England and <clears throat> Liverpool, where the Beatles came from, you know, and uh, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Belgium, France, Italy, Germany. Um, it was a terrific summer, and I'm from Flint. 
And let's go back forward again. I came back home from that. I went to school and learned this thing that we now call improvisation, but we weren't calling it then. It was called story theater. And uh, then I was on TV for five years in New Orleans. Then I came back home to Michigan and went back to college and got a Bachelor of Arts in telecommunication. My personal life fell apart. My uh, kids and their mom moved out of state and uh, went on with their lives, but I also had a number of improv groups that I put together and was a part of in one thing and another over the next few years. Mixed vegetables, improv comedy, and sketchy people I think was the best thing I ever did because I was in charge of it. And we get, I Okay, we're all in this together, but I know you know that I see it right now, so I have to be in charge for the moment. But it's an equal, you know that. I mean, everybody's in charge, because you could say no, and I'm in charge of nothing, so, okay? But I also know you're going to listen to me uh, for, I guess, what I'm going to propose. Yeah, there you go. And I'm not sure what it is exactly. All I know is that a show on Christmas Day... Christmas night? Are you kidding me? I mean, that's the most genius marketing idea I've ever heard. I mean, nobody does a concert on Christmas Day night. <laughs> it's unheard of. Okay, maybe maybe some, what do you call them? Casinos do, I, I suppose, I, I guess. I guess, and some clubs, you know, but... Wow, I just think that's really cool. You know, Christmas, 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 Christmas. Then Christmas Day night, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to rock and roll and, you know, soul down and the whole ten yards. That's amazing. I think it's really something that now that we're in the bank together, um... That's what we do, you know. I promote it. We promote it. I show you what I'm doing, you know, and you don't say no. <laughs> or if you see something you want to see different, obviously, that's what, then you say, well, oh, Tom, no, no, I didn't want that at all. You know, I, I would re I really want you to do that, you know. That's, you know, you guys are the experts on quality control. I'll put it out there. You decide, uh, you know, when you have to say no to something or, or change its direction. I have no idea what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you know, um, you, got, you guys are, you are in creative control in terms of the art part, you know, the production. Let me be in control of uh, kind of overseeing the thing, I guess, and, and making sure that you know what I'm thinking all the time, like this video right here. See? Isn't this great? So, um, I've got the book here for a prop, and I'm thinking a number of things. Um, I tend to play the audio over and over again, so that it becomes almost second nature. And I'm trying to say the things, that's why I practiced with you guys last night. And I haven't looked at the video of what that looks like yet, but it's sitting here waiting for me to look at it. But um, I have to learn how to say this stuff, and um, getting the technical stuff like we did last night, getting you signed in and the notify tabs, that's got to be the bottom line that we have to do right now. So I got all excited about getting Civic Park, the actual time bank created, and I uh, think that what I'll do is research it right up to the last step. And then on Tuesday, if you can make it on Tuesday again, we'll, we'll take the step together. I think that I don't want to do it. I don't want you to do it without me. So, I mean, you know. And we'll actually get it on the record book with the new software, too. That Community Weaver 2.0 I, I told you about. That's brand new. I haven't even seen it yet. So that'll be good for me to practice with you guys on how we do this. Then in any event... It's always yours. Now, there's also something you should know, that once you do this, you're the coordinator of the time bank. And there is something they have two times a month. It's on a Thursday 
they skip a Thursday, and then it's on a Thursday again at 2 o'clock. There might be one tomorrow or next week on Thursday. And it's a, a time bank coordinators conference call. And you can call in, and they'll want you to say hi, and you're in Flint, for example. But you don't have to say another thing uh, if you don't want to. And if you do, you can. But you sit back and listen to these other people around the country. Uh, Wisconsin, Rhode Island, California, you know, uh, Arkansas, I think. You know, well, obviously, and it's everywhere. The more you become familiar with this kind of side of the whole thing, the more confident you'll become about what it is, too. And keep in mind that from the first time I mentioned it, whatever you thought to, the, to where we're at now, what you think of it, it'll change that much, much again in terms of um, really, really seeing that uh, we are all hooked on money and hooked on the fact that if we don't have the money, we're immobile and we're not. Here's another fact, you guys, to keep in mind, and I, I wanted to try to say it, but you guys fluster me because I, I don't know if it's like I'm so anxious to, to win you over, I think, or something. I, I have to breathe, I think, a little bit. But um, I wanted to make this fact, and you should remember this. You know how they say that every day there are, you know, some big number like 25,000 or, you know, 100,000, I don't know what the number is, people who reach 65, you know, and everybody's going, oh, gosh, there's all these people that are going to be on, on the welfare and the dole or something because they're not, you know, because they have to retire, whatever words they use because they're all wrong. How about if we see it like this? Every day there are 25,000 or however many experienced people who have been freed to do stuff whose resources have become available to the rest of us. Reaching 65, they don't suddenly become crippled, you know. Uh, <laughs> people reaching 65 in these mass numbers the way they are is a treasure trove of energy, of ability, of desire to still be a part of what's going on. We've got the most people ever retiring into the biggest pool. It's not a deficit. It's, it's wonderful. All of these people have abilities and skills and now time to bring to bear. So, see? That's how deep it gets after a while when you allow yourself. And you're going to get a crash course. And I say between now and Christmas, we do this stuff. I communicate with you and share things about the book I started earlier to say. I will uh, send, I'll post and make available that somebody could open into their computer each of the pages because I had to scan them into pages. And then... If you want to, you can make a copy of it and you can just sit and read it, you know, on a piece of paper that you print it off. That would be good. It would be good to have that available for everybody to see. Every time I do this stuff and make it available, it's literally available not only to you, but to everybody else. So every time I help you do something, and if we record my doing it, that effectively creates a tutorial on it. Because I have a way of capturing the screen when I go to find out how to make the Civic Park Time Bank happen, I will be recording all of the steps so that we can play them back. Because after the fact, after like your show, I've recorded it, then I go in and I edit it and I cut out gaps and I make arrows and boxes and all that stuff. So when you have questions about something, even if it's an obvious question, you know, there's this ability, I've done this before, you can be sitting at your computer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can be sitting at your computer and have your phone on, speakerphone. 
I can be sitting at my computer with my phone on, speaker phone on. We can start at the same page on the wiki, you guys. We could have a meeting without being in the same room. You don't have to see me, but we can hear each other, and we can see the same screen. So if I say something or want to show you something, you can go to it. I can show you where it is. In fact, there was something that just came through about screen sharing. I'm going to look into it. It's a free thing that I can do. I think what can happen is that we can uh, do what I just said. You're sitting at your computer with a phone on speaker. I'm sitting at my computer with a phone on speaker. We see the same screen. I think I could take control of your screen for you. <laughs> I'd have to have your permission. Not, you know, you, you, you do that, you know. But I could take my mouse here, I think. I'd love to try it, just to try it. Um, and I can't get, you know what, uh, you guys, I can't get anybody in my Michigan Alliance of Time Banks to do this stuff with me. And everybody else is too busy, and I know you're busy too. But I also know you're excited about this, so. And it's perfect. I mean, it's how we build our story. I think that as time is the most magical thing, it's unstoppable. None of us are getting any younger. You look great up there, Maurice, but I'm older than you, and I'm here to tell you that you can't keep doing that forever. <laughs> you can still do it. It's just going to change, you know. And I think that building this first time bank in the city of Flint and what you already have done and all you still have yet to do, this actually may allow you, give you the um, reason for when a change does come in your presentation, for example, that because you're the time bank guy too, because you will be, you realize this, right? I was thinking how, um, Beverly, you made sure I put Maurice's name uh, first, and, and, it's, and then I, later I thought, yeah, John and Yoko, Maurice and Bev, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's the way it's out there, isn't it? Yeah, I get that. I know that. That's what I'm talking about. I know that you've got a persona that you've created. And, dude, it works, you know. Man, um, you are just, uh, you know, I... It's part of my flutter why I want to impress you, because, you know, man, I think they would have done just about anything you wanted <laughs> at some points there. Any, well, so time banking, right? Let's get comfortable with this concept. Let's say it's embrace it. You know, uh, nobody's got anything to... Uh, take advantage of anybody over here, you know, and we can do the, we can do everybody a good deed, you know. Okay, I feel like I've uh, kind of said what I need to say. I think I don't want to keep going on because I have to, I've got stuff to do here. So that's my message to you the next day. Um, and there, there are no stupid questions, for example. Don't not ask something because you think it's stupid or something. It's not. Like I said, as I answer stupid questions or any kind of questions, and if I'm recording them, eventually we get to the point where we can say to people, oh, we, yeah, we did something about that. Go check it out. It's, it's under, uh, you know, stupid questions or something. I don't know what, you know. So, we'll talk. 940. Oh, we're thinking hey, about doing something <laughs> for Christmas. Oh, good. Christmas night. That's what we're working on. Christmas night? Mm -hmm. We usually play Christmas night. Are you kidding? Where'd you go? To do In the city. I love it. Yep, last year we played at a, a place called Second Generation Hall on Richfield Road. And it wasn't big enough, and people were upset. It wasn't big enough? <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> no, we, man. 
so this year we're we're, we're trying a, a bigger venue, but we just haven't locked everything uh, down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You have to rent the home yourself. That's well, the idea. And that's the we're all make enough the receipts at the door to pay it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, that's mm -hmm. the theory, right? right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's that's what we have in the can. I love on. it. Yeah. I love it. What well, Christmas of all things? I mean, it's it's both. Wrong and perfectly right all at the same time. I mean, <laughs> well, if they've had, you mean, you mean Christmas night? Yeah, the actual Christmas night. After Christmas Eve after and Christmas, all that stuff. Yeah, after Christmas Eve, yeah. everybody open their presents and eat and get food. Yeah, and, and go out and, and then sometimes go to the a, older people want to get out of the house. You know? Isn't that something we call us older people now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like us. <laughs> Well, I was thinking that you said you graduated in like seventy something. What? Mm -hmm. Seventy four. Seventy four. You're holding up really good, man. Because <laughs> I'm older than you, so I can say that. You know? I I looked in the mirror for years and years, just denying, denying, denying. You know, I look fine. You know. Eventually, just you know, you can't deny it anymore. <laughs> Especially when all my heroes are getting old and dying, yeah. you know, yeah. of old yeah. age. Yep. Yeah, that's true. You know, all the yeah. people I admired over the years. Right. Yep. Lord, I can't. Yeah, we'll let you know. That's yeah. For sure. yeah. 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 It's not a lot of magic in the world, but the passage of time is pretty magical. Mm -hmm. You can't stop it. No, you can't stop it's it. It's relentless. Yeah. You think, okay, well, things are finally going to settle down now. You know, in a week or a month or a year later, it's completely changed. Right, you know, yeah. So you just never can. Can't control it. No, no, you can't. And the sooner we kind of go with that, mm -hmm. the better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I've been putting out a lot of information about what we're trying to do. Okay. Uh, too, sometimes I, there was a, re, there was a, a woman on uh, Channel 12 on Sunday. And, you know, I, I don't always know about this stuff, but apparently October the 1st is a deadline for a lot of stuff getting cut off for people who Oh, yeah. It. Yep. People on aid. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, but, oh, aid. Yeah, right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and man, the stories these people are coming up with, and and all I'm doing when I'm listening, thinking, that could be taken care of, you know, if people were cooperating a little bit, you know. And so I wrote to the woman uh, who was the interviewer person, I said, hey, I'm watching the show right now. I'm doing this thing. It's really cool. If these people were doing this thing, you know, it would be better. And I'm kind of hoping she'd show up tonight. And I said, no cameras and stuff. I don't, I'm not looking for publicity. Yeah. I just right. want to, you know, right. pull you in and yeah. get you to see this because yeah. we need somebody to get up and, you know, holler it from the rooftops, right. you know, yeah. not really. So I was thinking, um, even if it's just us, I can you know, it's fine. Did, did you get a chance to... I think what we need to do is 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 get comfortable with talking about what this is, what it means, because I've been thinking about it for a year now, mm -hmm. and, and this is only your second visit here, so I think the best thing we can do is for me to try to kind of fill in a little bit about what I think this is, so instead of also going for like a... I want to go. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I almost, I mean, that's, that's, we'll let you know next year that's iconic going. stuff, man. I yeah. mean, you say Harlem, you say Idlewild, Michigan, I mean, and a few others, I'm sure, but yeah. I know that. Yeah, nice up there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm not, yeah, sure. Yeah. Got away from the city back when they were starting it up, didn't they? And uh, yeah. they got to mm -hmm. you know, get away from all the people who were trying to oppress everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I remember driving through there now once. Didn't look like any other place. I mean, you know, you didn't yeah. know you were in any other special place just driving through. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't been paying attention to the map, I would have missed it. We didn't stop or anything. We just yeah. went through. I went, hey, this is that place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like Michigan to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The lake's off to the side. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, did... Um, I looked at it. I, did I, you get to listen to some of that yeah, stuff? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, about the people sitting around the table and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's that's what it's all about. Yeah. I made these little things up. This was um, a long dowel, you know, and it wasn't right. it wasn't yellow when I bought it. So I I, I bought this thing, I took it home, I, I cut them into pieces because 
I'm trying to figure out how I can explain this stuff. So mm -hmm. I was thinking if, if I had little things that two people, you know, and, and stuff like that. So um, anyway, here's how I see it. This is today. Mm -hmm. And this is going all the way back through time to um, two of our ancestors somewhere who, who before this time, everybody was out just living their life, doing their own thing, uh, mm -hmm. gathering food, killing animals, finally they learned how to maybe grow some food. But there was some point at the beginning where two of these people found out that if if, if they helped each other out, that their single place was better. Mm -hmm. and, and if we go all the way up through today, we've got everything in between. And <clears throat> somewhere along in this line, people were always helping each other out. The more they got used to the idea, they were in little clusters of people, you know, and as time went by, and, and uh, we got into the industrial age where people were being drawn away from the farms and into the cities and working. Still, they were taking care of things, but it was after World War II when, for the biggest first time ever, women, really, were yanked out of the home because they had to go into the factories to, to help build up the planes and all the armaments and stuff. And that changed everything because the people who were taking care of the babies and stuff were gone. If you take a big chunk of the employment force and pull it away, Something's missing, right. and and so the corporations and stuff came in trying to fill those those holes with things like kinder care and and all these things they were talking about in that book, and so what happens in today's world is we've got all the stuff we used to do for ourselves we now pay for, right, and all the stuff that needs to get done can't be paid for. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be done to help make a, a better world for everybody. So anyway, um, time banking does what money can't do. It, there was an example I've just been listening to today of, of a senior program, uh, elder care it was called. And you got your HMO, and you got your people who come to the HMO to get their care but what this doctor's office did was employ the, imp the patients into a time bank where they helped each other out doing things, and the patients who had already been through everything went and helped the new people and kind of led them by the hand. Into it. And they earned the little time dollar thing. It's the, it's the fact that if I help you and, I've, and you've always been in a place of helping, that's not a great place to be. But if I help you with the expectation that you're going to be expected to help somebody too. Yep. That's empowering. That's yep. you're no longer oh poor poor me. Yep. You know, you're I need you as much as you need me. Right. We all need you. Right. And 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 that's not a place a lot of people are in, mm -hmm. um, especially if you've been out of work for a year or more. And you know, but but even a person who's out of work can still find some usefulness. You know. And, but it's going to take a while to, to kind of, I don't know, get this to feel more natural. I mean, I, I don't know what kind of a place. I have a sense that you have people coming through your place where you are already. You already have a community. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to, yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to think, isn't there some way that we can apply this kind of stuff to what you're already doing? But I don't think we can just go and do it without you already being... The, I'm, I'm frustrated because I don't know how to, to move forward with some of this stuff. Because you're like the only people who show up right at the moment. Well, it can, it can move along because, like you say, they need the help. Mm -hmm. And they need to know that they can be empowered with knowledge. Yes, sir. But, uh, That's right. Uh -huh. But how to get from sitting here at this table to that is what I... I would say... Um, you inquire the first few that, that's got an interest mm -hmm. of getting out the rut. Because right now, everybody in a rut. That's a fact. Everybody is in a serious rut. And they have to identify the inner rut, and they want a way out. 
other than just working a, a, a job for mm -hmm. X amount of uh, minimum dollars. Yeah, because that's not always. And they gotta enough. be wanting to fight their own way out. Yeah, yeah. And uh, time banking is a good idea for that. Okay. It is. Yeah. And the only thing you really need is just to, to, to start. Mm hmm. And letting the first. It'd be the information would go first. That's right. And the conversation would go first. And the conversation about the and information. And then I would, after mm -hmm. the conversation, let it mm -hmm. settle in for a good month. Just yeah, yeah, repetition. you got to let it settle in. Right. Yeah. And then when they get ready to inquire about it. Yeah, more. Now, mm -hmm. it'd be time you start, to yeah. start organizing. Mm -hmm. I would organize it the same way you would organize a, a, a neighborhood watch. Yes, sir. And it's very much I you think that same. You one two, three this week, mm -hmm. three or four, that That's way it don't, it is not overwhelming. That's right. By the time everybody else comes, they'll be able to start explaining for you. That's right. And they right. explain, they would explain because they're a part of it now. That's right. Yeah, because they've experienced it and that's better yeah. than just words. But I would find out all of the talents and what they could do mm -hmm. and what they need done. Mm -hmm. And even the simplest things are, are important. Even a phone call to a yes. lonely person. Whatever they're talent on. Exactly. And what what can they do and what, what they need done. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go through this a little bit. I'm not real crazy about what this is, like, but this is a kind of an idea mm -hmm. thing that, to help people kind of think about some uh, ways that people help each other. It says here, help identify needs and skills. Mm -hmm. and so what you got here is the, the ones that go down say, could help and need help are the check marks. And then as, as you see here, escorting people to an appointment, uh, either shopping for them or helping them to do their shopping, doing errands. And so you can see... Car repair, car wash. There you go. Right. All of that. Yeah. I mean, these are all things you can't pay people to do. Right. Catering, running a bar, fishing. You know, whatever. And this, these are just ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, this is nothing... And it's good ideas. Yeah. Well, sure, because they're, they're. I remember one thing I was listening to in that book about the the kid. He had the sense that he was kind of maybe running in gangs and stuff like this, but he wanted to help this neighbor. And if he was going to do it for money, it would have uh, his friends would have laughed at him because they can get more money selling drugs or something. But he was doing it for time dollars, mm -hmm. which he could share with his mom or something like that. And, you can't you can't buy drugs with time dollars. <laughs> That's the other thing. Yep. That's what this doesn't do. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. and this is nice. yeah. So I've been looking. They've maybe what we can do tonight is 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 actually. Oh, let me show you my other thing I was trying to describe. Um, and wanting this for. Here, see if I can make sense of this. I'm trying. I'm doing this as much for me as, as anything else. Did you watch the video where I yes, did this already? I did. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> At the plant, the, the, the not plant board, but yeah, I went to the board board. of education right after yeah. that. Yeah. After I was here, and they didn't, and they didn't ask me to be on the board, and I don't want to be on the board actually, because okay. I would be having to follow yeah. their rules and stuff. But I did want to talk to them. Yeah. So yeah. I had their attention yes. for like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. twenty or thirty minutes. But yeah, so anyway, you got the uh, Arts Council, you got, um, color here, you got, um, oh, I, uh, there's a group of people who dress up in historical costumes and stuff, they're another group, and, and yeah, so, and uh, something else, and I, yeah, I connect them all together, and, and they can all talk to, to their cluster of people, right. but but and they can too, like a website. But now they can talk along these ways. And over at Civic Park, we've got you, and we've got uh, the, mm -hmm. something else, and something else. Mm -hmm. And they're connected here. And again, here's the thing that's different about this whole thing: people who who you've got Civic Park, and we've got Grand Blanc, and over here is going to be right. Burton, and over here is going to be Lapeer, right. and up here is the northeast part of Flint, and well, we can all communicate with each other for the first time, mm -hmm. and, and, and people can pay attention to things, and I just think this is really important, wow. Wow. <clears throat> of an idea that Americans can just do, and we can find out some of these things that people need, right. and, and one thing and another, and just do a much better job of communicating and, and getting that help out there. I don't know, we're coming into the cold months now, aren't we? Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, so I'm even thinking just keep talking about this stuff and take a take that and, and mull it over and I mean I think we need to just talk about it and stuff and 
get ideas about how we can do things. And mm -hmm. You know the people who live around you right now, too, better and maybe what they need. And you should strike up conversations with them sometime. If you ever ha want to have a meeting in the neighborhood, I'll be I will strike it up. Yeah, we you need know? to start a block club. That's there. right. It's the same idea. Yeah, yeah. once yeah. you start the block club, mm -hmm. then you can cycle over into mm -hmm. this. And people can come to you to learn this stuff, and, and, and there can be a lot of time banks. There could be the one at church. There could be the one mm -hmm. uh, the, soft, the baseball team does. There could be the one just this block here does. We don't have to just have you. How do you come up with the scheduled time bank money or the time that you actually have in? Just You just type it in the computer? Yeah. Uh, what we've done now that we're in, you're in there too, in the time bank for sure, what I'm going to do is put in a... A request to you that I've spent, you know, a hundred hours working on stuff, and then when you confirm it, I get a hundred time dollars in my my account. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, but it has to be confirmed by yeah. the person that I was helping. Okay. Because that's know. how you get it, when they confirm the hour or two exactly. hours. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that way you can't like overdo it, or, or mm -hmm. you can underdo it by just not. Uh, doing it. You can't steal time dollars. Mm -hmm. There's no point in stealing them because mm -hmm. it doesn't apply that. Way. Yeah. Because the, the, the word is almost wrong. They're not really dollars. They had to call it something, so right. they, they call it dollars because mm -hmm. people respond to that and stuff like that. You can see your wheels are turning. Uh, you make the civic park uh, itself be a person. Mm -hmm. The Grumlock Community Time Bank is, is, is a of person. Course. So as I'm spending time talking to you, I've just earned 90 minutes that I'll confirm not with the person, but with the time bank itself. And since I'm running it, I can mm -hmm. just do that, and I can give myself another 90 minutes. So when you go out, you could do a concert. If you mention time banking, uh, you know, or something in the show, then you've right. you earned that time, time for your time bank. And if you find somebody in a real place of need, and you've got a bunch of time dollars that you've saved up because you've been doing, you can give them to somebody else, you know. Mm -hmm. If they have to be in the time bank, but you can just slide your time dollars into their account, mm -hmm. you could effectively okay. give somebody some of that time. See, yeah. it's just all these ways yeah. of thinking about it. There's no right. one single way of thinking right. about this stuff. Yeah. It's it's a way of thinking, and that's why we can't go too fast either, because because if we're not, you gotta really right. understand yeah, it. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You gotta really understand it. The other thing they were saying was that like a fish is in the water. The fish thinks that this is the perfect environment to be in, but as the book says, seen from a different angle, the water can look wet and cold. But it's all the fish knows. Money is all we know, mm -hmm. so it seems just fine, and, and everything's not working, but money is still important. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, people are going without some things, and what we've got to do is get out of the of only money thinking and say to ourselves, nothing to replace money, don't get me wrong. This is not intended to replace money. Yeah. Money's a great idea. Yeah. But there's some things money just can't, can't do. That's right. 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 And that's what time banking right. is. And it rebuilds that family that, mm -hmm. that's missing in our lives. It's funny, the Republicans are all about all this money and, and family values. But it's all the money that's actually torn down all the family mm -hmm. values because children watch stuff on these screens mm -hmm. and yeah. that you and I never could have imagined when right. we were kids. And, Phones and stuff. Yeah. So, so we gotta put some of that family back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed it. Me too. Thank I you. There's the core values. Okay. That's, that's everybody's important. Okay. So, so thank you guys. We'll so I'm gonna start okay. making a lot of mention of this. Yeah, talk it up. And, yeah, yeah, and just ask a few people out and talk about it. That's I think the best way to go is just talking about it. Like I said, we start block club, mm -hmm. then we can go from the block club into that. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever we do, Tom, you're going to know about it. I, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. are. Yeah, Same I know. Part. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. I'll tell you another idea I, I, they did once. They had a CD swap, C, CD and DVD swap. So everybody brought their old CDs and DVDs they don't have anymore, and they all put them on the table. And they all step back and they all go, go. <laughs> yeah, and they only just take some, you know, because you got to bring some. Mm -hmm. and you shouldn't take more than you brought. Yeah. I mean, that's a way to get people together. Yeah. 
everybody's tired of their old CDs and DVDs yeah. after a while, but hey, let's all put them on this table and yeah. just mix them up and take what you want. That's a way to get people involved. Yep. Yeah. And talk. And yeah. talk, thank you. And yep. talk, and, talk. Mm -hmm. and talk, and you're absolutely right. That's, cool. That's the key. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I like it. Thank you. I